Hello everyone, today we will prepare the design parts of the admin panel with you. First, let's open one of the admin pages in our project. It could be an avatar page. Okay. We need a layout page. The meaning of the layout page is this. Even if the pages change, the part that remains constant is called layout. For example, when we look at the admin panel, it is the sidebar layout on the left side of the project. Another example is the layout of the nowbar section at the top of the project. I will use screenshot program. This is a uh, first layout and this is second layout. Good. Our nowbar and sidebar areas are fixed for all admin pages in our project. So when the pages change, these two parts don't change. Footer section can also be added here. Okay, good. Uh, first, let, uh, let's add controllers to our project. Right click controller folder, add new controller, and we see controller empty, choose and uh, delete one. Okay. Our controller name is admin layout. Uh, I use camel case and click add button. Okay, our controller is ready. This controller must keep fixed locations related related to the layout. Okay. Uh, now let's uh, create a view from this method. Right click. Add the view, razor view. While creating the view, we will not select any boxes here because the view we created will be a layout. Add click. <laughs> I'm waiting. Our admin layout index page is ready. Okay. Now let's go to our avatar page. This is avatar page. Where is uh, locations, components under avatars, HTML, OK, wroot open, uh, admin templates, components, and avatars, HTML. OK. How many lines? How many code lines? This is uh, 853. OK. Let's copy all the codes here. Control A, copy and and uh, let's pass it into our layout page. Delete this here. Passed. Okay. Good. There are some ways uh, we need to organize first. Let's edit the paths of CSS and scripts. Let's add the full name of the folder here. Now let's run it. Before uh, we need, we need, we need, we need, one minute, we need change to href. Okay, we need a uh, full of name, right click, rename, right click, copy, okay, and delete dot uh, slash past okay and copy good two two this is three four five and six and seven okay this is not necessary now good and I will change scripts uh, URL this is first, second, third, fourth, uh, sorry, fourth, fifth, uh, sixth, seventh, eighth, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay. Let's run it. Control Shift W. I'm waiting. Okay. 
layout view works without any problems. Uh, it might just not show, but uh, this is not a problem. I will explain next uh, lessons. Okay, good. Now, now, let's divide our layout page into parts. It would be more useful to consider uh, the pages by breaking them down rather than considering them as a whole. Thus, sustainability is ensured, management becomes easier, error management becomes easier. We will also divide it into sections here. We will use view components for this. Weave components came uh, into our lives with ASP.NET Core. They were not involved in MVC technology. There are differences between partial weaves. What is the most important difference? Please write in the comments. The first thing we need to create a weave component is a folder. Let's name our folder weave components. Right click, add new folder. Our folder name is view components okay when naming folders remember to use plural names for example controllers models properties and views okay good let's start with the heat area first let's create a subfolder so as not to disturb the folder structure right click with components add new folder uh, our folder name is layout view component admin layout view components okay our second folder is ready now we need a clause here this clause will be the backend part of the relevant partial right click add new class uh, our class name is underscore heat layout i will explain what is heat uh, heat layout component partial okay the name part is optional so you can also use different names here we need to declare that uh, the class we created is view component so it should inherit from view component inherit uh, view component okay uh, using microsoft.sp.net core.mvc okay then uh, let's define our method required for the view component structure just there is a method of type i action result on the controller side controller side uh, there is also a method of type i view component result here controllers is i action result uh, view component must be uh, IVU component result public IVU component IVU component result uh, name must be invoke I will explain what is used in why is used uh, invoke and we need to return view okay finally we need to create a view for this backend code for this let's open the shared folder this is shared folder uh, we will add a new folder here right click add new uh, folder its name will be the same as the name of the class we created what script uh, folder name is underscore hit layout component partial right click and copy new folder right click rename and past okay our uh, underscore hit layout component partial folder is ready Good. Let's stop here. We will continue from here. Thank you for watching this video. See you next lesson. Have a good day. Have a good time.